So today I'm going to be showing you guys the number one reason as to why websites don't rank higher on Google. And I see this time and time again where website owners or SEOs or even business owners sometimes they'll throw up a website and they will only focus on caring about ranking one page or one keyword on their actual website. And because they don't actually have enough um, topics or enough articles or enough blogs on their actual website, they end up falling short. So one thing I will be doing in this video is I will be referencing this blog article. The link for this will be down in the description so you guys can actually um, get the actual tool that will be shown in just a second. Um, and there's a little bit more of like a um, a little bit more of a write up on how to actually um, do topical authority and, and figuring out what kind of articles you should be uploading through to your website. Now, one word that a lot of people talk about is actually silo structure. And that is very important when it comes to actually ranking a website. It can basically make or break a website. Um, and this is the format that I like to use when it comes to any website. It doesn't matter if you are an e-commerce store, it doesn't matter if you are a service-based store, it doesn't matter if you're an affiliate website, every website follows this structure. And that is top of funnel um, keywords, middle of funnel keywords, and then bottom of funnel keywords. Now, what does that actually look like in a, in a real life scenario, right? So I've just searched HVAC Repair California, right? And we've got like a, a subset of results here and we've, we're just going to be looking at um, position number two. We're not even going to look at position number one, right? Um, but if we actually take a look at these guys, they're ranking for 7,100 keywords. They're getting 2,700 traffic through to the website. Now, why are they ranking for so many keywords? And first of all, why are they ranking for so well for HVAC Repair California? So if we actually take a look at their website, Obviously, they do actually have the um, California HVAC repair page, and obviously they, they provide this as a service in California, which is all fine and well. But if we actually do a little bit more digging on their website, so what I like to do here is if we just copy their URL, and if we head over to Google, if we do a site colon of this URL, if we take a look, you'll see that they're not just having a lot of bottom funnel keywords. If we actually take a look, they've got 186 articles live on their website. Now, some of the articles they I, I would class as like being like zero value or like more EAT pages. So they don't necessarily care about ranking some of these pages, but they're more so there for helping convert the actual traffic into sales because everybody knows that if you have a high um, traffic website but if you don't have the trust signals in place there's not really much point you can get 10 million hits to your website but nobody's going to end up converting now some of these pages that like for example the reviews page and we're going to hope that they've got like some really nice testimonials here um, so they've got a few testimonials but they also ask you to leave a review right that's that some of those pages it helps the traffic actually um, convert but if we take a look at some of their blog articles on their website, so for example, if we were to actually add, um, add in some questions, like for example, how, how to reduce home, home dust with your HVAC system, right? How to quickly cool your home during a heat wave, how to boost indoor air quality and why it matters. Now, these are all what's called supporting articles, um, some of which are top of funnel, some of which are middle of funnel, like for example, um, how to quickly cool your home during a heat wave. That's very much so top of funnel. And if we take a look at the diagram that I've actually included in this, top of funnel is actually like awareness style. So what is sustainable fashion? That's very much awareness. Consideration stage is middle of funnel. So in our case, consideration would be something like how to boost indoor air quality and why it matters, right? Now, these are all supporting articles that all would internally link back up to our page that is um, to do with um, HVAC repair in California. So if we actually take a look here, um, they do have an internal link to indoor air quality. So I believe they might like offer an actual indoor air quality so why air quality matters so this is like an actual service that they actually provide that might be like an audit where they come and they might audit your air quality and they might say like yeah you need a new filter or you need a new ac system 
so on and so forth. So their actual SEO is pretty decent. Um, they do have supporting articles. So how to get your air conditioner ready for summer, right? Um, now, I'm going to assume that they will be internally linking or they should be internal linking to their, their internal linking once. The internal linking could be a little bit better on this, but what I would do in this case is internal link to like maybe HVAC. Um, uh, HVAC, let's just see, uh, maintenance p p uh, possibly. So like maintaining the HVAC, making certain that every year somebody's coming out and making certain that your HVAC system is actually in order. Um, how does air conditioner actually work? So again, in this case, this should be an internal or there should be an internal link to um, HVAC or air conditioning installation, but they haven't, um, which is kind of weird. But again, it does show you that not every one's website from an SEO point of view is 100% perfect. Like I could pick apart any website. Um, but one thing these guys are doing very well is they, they do actually have a lot of supporting articles. So what we're actually going to do now is going to co copy some of their actual titles into our SEO um, content calendar. And it's basically going to tell us like which articles that, um, or where about in the funnel these articles are, right? So if I actually just delete these two and oh, if we just paste some of these in to our HVAC um, or into our content calendar sheet, um, I, what I'll do is I'll just pause the video for a sec. I'll go through some of these um, titles. All I will just be doing is just copying some of these titles into our content calendar sheet. Did you know that 81% of businesses are overspending when it comes to actually trying to rank their website organically in Google? That's why I've decided to create the Traffic Accelerator system. It will tell you exactly what your website is lacking. The Traffic Accelerator system will tell you exactly how many backlinks you need, what articles you're missing on your website, and also how to internally link those articles together to gain topical authority. Now, if you're struggling to rank on Google, click the link down below, get the Traffic Accelerator system for your website. It's only $195 and it will tell you exactly everything your website is lacking. Right, so all I've done is obviously I've just copied over a load of actual supporting articles, blog articles from that HVAC website. Now, we could actually do the exact same process for any type of website, even if let's say it was a dental site. So if we do dentists in New York, um, I'm certain that we will find a very, very similar strategy used by any one of these websites that are ranking. So let's say, for example, if we were to take a look at 209nycdental.com, and if we do site colon, and if we do, let's say, um, how, Right, we'll, we'll look at some of these, like how to stop, stop grinding your teeth, how many times a day should you floss, um, any one of these, they will fall under um, top of funnel, middle of funnel, or in some cases, if it is um, in two different um, groups, if it's top of funnel and also middle of funnel, um, it will sometimes say uh, mixed. In some cases, if it doesn't understand um, the actual full on intent, because there's only so many um, ways that you can actually group together some articles, it will say unknown. Do not worry about it if it does say unknown. There's nothing that you've done wrong. It just might be a certain type of question that this sheet just doesn't understand. Um, but for the most part, it will actually um, find a lot of different um, articles. So as you can see, I've just copied in some articles from that dental website. And as you can see here, uh, we've got some top of funnel keywords. So how does Invisalign work? A beginner's guide. How does um, how long does Invisalign take? That's the top of funnel. Uh, choosing the right Invisalign provider, what to look for. And we've got comparing Invisalign packages, standard versus express, understanding retainers after Invisalign treatment, top of funnel. So what this tool basically has done for us is it's grouped um, articles together into top of funnel, middle of funnel, and also bottom of funnel. But one thing you can also do as well is you can tell um, which silo uh, the articles should be once they are actually 
physically being uploaded to your website. So right now we are very much in the keyword research and planning stage and could reverse um, engineering our competitor sites. So this is what this sheet's built for. But what we can actually do is actually tweak the silos, right? So we've got um, right now, this is just like a base um, template. You got, you're gonna need to actually go in and make um, adjustments to this. But if we click on the pencil, what we can actually do here is obviously this first um, silo is all to do with HVAC. Um, now, I'm, I've just used the the Invisalign um, example, but this would be all to do with Invisalign um, as our second silo, right? So then what we just want to do is click on apply to all. And if we then click here, so as you can see, we can group all of our articles prior to them even being uploaded on our Google Sheets. So our SEO editors or our um, whoever's actually uploading the actual content, whether it's your content writers or whether it's your SEO editors or your SEO managers, they know exactly from the word go which articles um, need to actually do it and which articles need to be in specific silos. So this is our Invisalign silo. Now, obviously, I've just used two completely different websites, right? You might have like a, an Invisalign silo. You might have, let's say, a teeth whitening silo, so on and so forth. You wouldn't have um, a website talking about HVAC and uh, the same website talking about Invisalign, right? But for the purpose of this video, that's, that's how I've set it up. Um, so then what we then want to do is you basically um, are able to then go through and tick which articles you actually want. So let's say, for example, we only want um, these articles. We're all, we'll also get that mixed art article and we'll also do two, we'll do, let's say, three of these as well. And if we go to our guide, by the way, you can check out this guide. Um, I've used two different examples here. So it's the exact same image on the on the website, but two different examples. One's for HVAC um, installation company and one's for the actual um, sustainable fashion. But you've then also got the content plan section, um, which is the next tab. And basically what this does is it tells the RS, uh, the article writer, who, whoever's writing your articles, which stage of the funnel the article's in and also which um, silo that needs to go on when it's been uploaded to your website. Now, the reason we've done that is in my case, um, especially when you're scaling out multiple silos, right? So let's say, for example, you have an Invisalign silo, you've got a teeth whitening silo, you might have um, a... Uh, cosmetic dentistry silo. So that's four different silos, which you will might you might need, let's say, twenty five different um, supporting articles in every single silo. So that's a hundred supporting articles you are uploading through to your website. It is very easy to um, potentially upload the article in the incorrect silo, and that's going to cause SEO issues. So this sheet was actually built from the ground up to make certain that nothing can potentially go wrong. The only time it can obviously go wrong is if, say, for example, um, you're uh, the person in charge of actually uploading your content, they just um, upload the content to the wrong um, silo. But then that that's on them because everything is actually well documented in this. You've actually specified which silo um, the articles should be going live to. You've also specified which articles you actually want. So this is, in this phase, you can actually say, right, okay, I approve these 15 articles or no, I don't approve these four articles. Um, and then from there, then you can then use your favorite AI content writing tool. Um, we'll just use, let's say, autoblogging for this. So I've just logged into autoblogging, but Basically, what we're going to do here is we're going to choose one of these, let's say, how humidity affects HVAC performance. We're going to copy that page title and then we're going to go to the dashboard. We're going to enter the actual keyword. Uh, we're going to select the um, the language, the length of the article. I'm going to just keep everything as, as is. We'll also add in some FAQs. You can cho choose the actual tonality. So we're going to keep it to professional. Tone of voice will do automatic. And we want this article to be informative. We're going to then click generate article and that's going to go ahead and do its thing. Now, this will take, let's say, a couple of minutes to actually upload. But from start to finish, um, we've actually been able to do the keyword research planning, put together which stage of the funnel the actual article is in, if it's middle of the funnel, top or bottom of the funnel. 
We've also been able to structure which silo that needs to be uploaded through to on our website. And we've been able to generate the article from, from the word go. And obviously, if the website was live right now, we would be able to upload it in just a second as well. So that has been how to actually cluster your content when you're actually uploading it, how to actually correctly um, structure your website to actually actually perform better in SEO. If you guys do have any questions, please remember to leave a like. And as I mentioned at the start of this video, the link to this actual blog article is down below. And if you do want this um, sheet, make certain when you do get it, you click on file and then make a copy. So you're actually able to edit it yourself. Otherwise, you're just going to be viewing um, a pre-filled um, sheet. Um, but that has been the video. And if you guys do want a free growth strategy call, make certain to check out cash and fill in the contact form. Thanks.